I thought I'd show how I set things up for burnishing. It's uh, it's something that I just do to the pivots. Some people polish and then burnish. On oh, torsion clocks, I find just a burnish is fine. This is a burnishing tool. It's got a, a file edge one end and I don't know what you call the other end but it's a burnishing end and basically all you do is put it across there with oil on it. I will actually do it. The Jacob drum is just there on this purely to, for support. Uh, on the other ones you actually do it on the Jacob drum but this is just there for supporting the um, the other end of the center arbor and all I do just go over it a few times and it just it just takes any rough edges off and it also case hardens That's it, that's all I do. Clean the oil off. And then I put it in a collet the other way around. Then this, you adjust. to suit the you want it just protruding above the slot like that and then again you do it over there that way it supports the end of the pivot I've already done this so I'm not not doing it again <clears throat> but that's all it is just a homemade I drilled a load of holes all different sizes in the end of it and then just turn the outer edge off until half the hole protruded out I've got adjustment up and down and that's just five mil to go in the tail stock That's all it is. So with a burnisher, if you want to make a burnisher, you get a piece of high speed steel, a bit of 220 emery cloth, lay it on it and just do it that way. So you're going just straight across and that'll put loads of striations on there, which is enough for burnishing. Hope that's helpful. You don't need to do too much for torsion clocks because they don't they don't wear so you don't need to file the pivots and then burnish them. Yes if you have to replace a pivot then that's something you will have to do but uh, just purely for polishing the pivots that's all you do that's all I do to it anyway and um, don't seem to have any problems thank you very much